Hi, I'm Grant, this is Dad Crafted, and this is a cedar planter box. All right, let's go. Cedar planter box, here we go. So this box has multiple layers of cedar 1x4s, and it's got a taper to it. So the top of the box is wider than the bottom of the box. So here I'm setting the miter saw at three and a half degrees and then making a cut and then you'll see me flip the miter saw three and a half degrees the other direction to cut it the other way. And I have to do it this way because I'm using the cedar that's actually rough on one side and sanded on the other. Since all four boards are the same exact size, we're just doing a butt joint with wood glue brad nails and then each board will essentially overlap the next one normally i would just leave the miter saw locked in three and a half degrees in one direction and then flip the board from one face to the other face but since one side's rough i'm having to flip the miter saw from three and a half degrees right on one side and then turn it three and a half degrees left for the other side and then I just repeat that four times for each board. But here on my second layer, I'm making sure that the length of the top of the board is equal to the length of the bottom of the previous board. That way when all these get glued up and attached together, it'll be as close to a straight taper all the way down as possible. And here's glue up and nailing of round two basically the same thing that I did for the top layer, just repeating, and this one's just going to be a little bit smaller. And then I just keep going, making layers, until my wife tells me that it's tall enough for how she wants it. So we're finally attaching the layers together and we are just using wood glue. Probably doesn't seem like the most stable thing at the moment, but we are going to add some rails to each corner here in a little bit and that'll help stable things up. So here I am ripping down those rails. I made a one and a half inch piece and a one inch piece. I'm not doing miter joints, I'm just doing butt joints for each corner, so that way they kind of line up and look the same, even though there's a seam. It's good enough for us. So here I'm lining things up, and again, doing a butt joint and just making sure that I'm covering up the end grain. And then once I'm happy, I cut all the strips down to size, one thick and one thin for each corner of the box. attach these support rails. I didn't bother to use wood glue, I just did brad nails, mainly because I didn't want a bunch of wood glue seeping out all over the sides because the layers aren't exactly perfectly even, and I really didn't want to sand this project at all. And then since I didn't do wood glue, to add a little extra stability, I took some wood screws and just screwed in from the inside into one of the rails on the top here, and then we flip it over upside down, and then screw in another one in the bottom. Again, just a little extra added stability. My wife bought a fern to fit in here, and here I am trying to figure out how big the pot is. Once I had that figured out, I ripped down some of the extra cedar and used the bandsaw to cut down those strips into uh, two inch and one and a half inch pieces made myself a little L bracket, and then these little L's will eventually screw in on the inside of the planter so that the pot can rest on these. There is no bottom to this pot, so really I didn't want to fill it with dirt or foam or something else. I just wanted some little mini shells that the pot could rest on. No fancy level in here. I just made sure that the shelf would sit flush with the bottom of that top rail 
That way, the pot for the fern would basically be concealed and you'd only see the plant. Ultimately, I probably made this project a little bit more complicated than I needed to with the tapers. Cedar's expensive, so I thought I'd be saving myself a little, but I probably could have made this a straight box and got it done in about half the time. But it looks good, the wife's happy, so I'm happy too. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Quiet squirrel. What do you think? Wit approves. Yeah, let's let's not kick it. What? Doesn't doesn't break. That's right. Doesn't break. Daddy built it. <laughs>